Hello. Oh shit, my desk is a mess. I really need to fix it. Hold on, give me one second. Just give me one, one second. You guys didn't come here for me anyway. You came here for the mad slaps. There we go. Very yeah, the most professional streamer. Is that better? Or is it still too loud? I can turn it. I can turn it down some more. Trying to get the trying to get Michael close. <laughs> I feel like I'm also too big. Where am I? Hold on. Let me let me shrink. I feel like I'm very large and in charge. I don't need to be. Which it better. Okay. Hello. <laughs> so. Oh, let me drink some more water. Holy cow! What a stressful forty minutes that was. Twenty minutes? I don't even know. Oop! I don't even know how long. He has to draw me for two hours. So, um. I, I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, I really want to encourage people to, to draw more and, and stuff. And then I was thinking about it. I was like, well, maybe I should also encourage them to, to stretch their wrists and be uh, responsible with their with their drawing body. So I think the good way to start the stream, instead of doing warm-ups right away, would be to straight up start, start with some hand stretches for everybody that plans on drawing. Yeah, we're gonna learn how to channel our chakra, and then while we're doing the stretching, I'll uh, I'll explain to you guys what all happened. Uh, ten minutes before chaos ensued. So, oh, look at chats working. Look at chat working. Look at me. I'm a hacker. This is so great. I did that. I did so much in the last ten minutes. I really thought. I'm surprised. I'm not even like super late or anything like that. Chats working. Sounds working. Pen displays working. All right, so everybody, everybody, shake out, shake out your hands. Okay, I know how to test this. Hold on. I really gotta move my junk around. Feet hacks are... All right, so, uh, yeah, so the first one, we're gonna shake our hands for two minutes. Ah, the timer's working. Okay, just shake your hands. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, well, Beaver, you, you know, that doesn't surprise me, so... <laughs> Move your junk right? Yeah, shake the junk. Um, so basically what was happening was earlier, earlier today, I had a, a big brain scheme, if you will. And I was like, what if, what if I bought an adapter, right? Keep shaking, guys. Turn down that timer music? The timer has music? Oh, it does have music. Holy shit, I didn't even know that. I'm sorry. There, it's gone. <laughs> it has music? It didn't have music when I downloaded it! What was it? I didn't hear anything. I don't hear anything. <laughs> anyway. Was it like SoundCloud or was it like DMCA worthy kind of music? Um. <laughs> well, though the music came, the virus you got from the timer probably. No, 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 I'm, we're doing it for two minutes. I honestly just wanted to see if I could get the, um, get the timer to work, right? It was Wubby? Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so, so I, I had this brilliant idea to get, um, this little adapter. And it's, uh, a USB-C multifunction adapter. So it has, like, a HDMI port, it's got USB ports, all that fun stuff. And my thought, my plan, my brilliant cracked out scheme was to plug it into my phone and then see if I could use my pen display on my phone. I don't know why, because after I bought it, I thought about it. I'm like, I've been drawing on my phone with my S Pen this entire time. I don't know why I need my pen display on my phone, but, but that's 
neither here nor there at this point. There's always, there was a lot more dumb things to follow. Um, so basically I unplugged my pen display earlier today to plug it into my phone and this adapter to find out I was get low by little John in the east side boys. Um, so I, I plugged it in and it didn't work, which is incredibly shocking, I know. Just horrifically shocking, it really, really confused me. Alright guys, we're moving on to number two, so open and close fists. <laughs> two minutes. See, see, oh, up to two minute rest between sets, that's okay. We're not doing strenuous workouts. <laughs> Thank you, Beaver. Um, so basically, I, so my, my pen display was unplugged, right? Because I unplugged it to plug it into my phone. So I pack up the little adapter to send back because obviously it's not working. So I'm just going to send it back. And then right before the stream, I'm like, okay, let me just plug my pen display back in. And I did. And I plugged the cable into my actual pen display and it says no signal. And I'm like, what? And, and then, you know, I unplug everything and plug it into different ports and everything. Pen display still says no signal. I'm like, I unplug it from the pen display, plug that back in, still no signal. I'm like, what the hell? So I restart my computer. This is all like a half an hour before stream, mind you. Restart my computer, pen to play. Pen display says no signal. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. So then I figured out pen display is fine. It's not broken, which is what I was worried about that I somehow fried my pen display by plugging it into my phone. So if I know pen display is fine, I'm like, okay, well, let me check the HDMI port on my graphics card because that would also suck if that was broken. That works just fine on my other monitor. Okay, so it must be the cable. So then I go to pull out the cable and I'm like, I guess we'll just have to play Valheim today and then order order a new cable and then do the, you know, the drawing stream a different day. So I go, <laughs> go to pull out the cable, pull out the cable. And I look, I look at my pen display and my pen display is still plugged in, like into the actual display and the actual screen. And I'm like, and I'm looking at the cable in my hand, which is not plugged into the pen, pen display. I look at my hand. I look at my pen display, I look at the cable in my hand, I look at my pen display, and I realize this entire time I've been plugging in some random ass cable into my pen display that isn't even plugged into my computer, let alone the proper cable for my pen display. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, all is fine! <laughs> Yep, so that was my uh, chaos for the last 20 minutes. And then like like I hadn't found I hadn't found any models yet. I hadn't gotten a proper timer set up. I didn't get make sure chat was working. Because I was gonna just plug in my pen display and then do all that and then and then all that happened. So <sighs> cable management. Yeah, you guys would cry if you saw the back of my computer. I've tried. I've tried really hard. I've actually put in a lot of effort in cable management and I'm still bad at it. Oops, sorry, Michael. Still bad at it. I don't know why. Alright, so we're gonna do rotations. Probably not for two minutes, because I don't want to waste any more time, but everyone do rotations. One. Two. This is only, like, super duper important to me, because I actually have carpal tunnel now. Um, OG people will remember my carpal tunnel days. <laughs> but I actually, it's something that I still struggle with. So I just don't want to, like, one, I have to make sure not to make it worse again. Um, and two, I don't want other people to get carpal tunnel. But you're not trying very hard. Well, I mean, I try really hard when I do it. So like when I move my computer, if I set it up, I try really hard. But then stuff happens and I move things. And then things don't stay, you know? Except Beaver. Yeah, Beaver wants carpal tunnel, so that's on him. He He desperately wants it. All right, so now we will do the finger press. Ooh, that, ooh, ooh, my fingies pop. This feels good. I like the fingy press. Fingy press is good. Cable manglement, pretty much.
Is it really Gorilla Valheim? Well, it wasn't on the schedule, so technically, yes. Alright, so then we do side... Side clickies. Just flick, 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 flick. Ah, sorry, Michael. So much flicking. I don't think you're supposed to go fast, but... Up and down, wrist flips. Yeah, warm up them thingies. It's actually really important. Your hands can get messed up really quick because uh, lots of little bones and tendons and, and whatnot and such and such have you. Like, I already know, like, my right... I can't do push-ups. Like I can't do push-ups anyway. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not trying to trick anyone. But like I can't do push-ups because um, it's really rough on my wrist. It hurts super bad. So I can't actually do push-ups. I'm trying to get flexibility back. Flexibility back in my wrist, so I can actually do that. I can like do them when I'm like on my knuckles, so it's like a straight line. But I can't bend my wrist at that 90 degree angle you need for push-ups. Poor, imagine having thingies. Poor Kami is just staring at the screen waiting for this to be over in his lack of arms. Punch-ups, punch-ups, yes. I'm gonna do some finky stretches and then we'll get uh we'll get that started. Very cozy stretchy hour. Hope everyone's fingers are nice and warm. Alright, so I do wanna go over those perfect those twisty perfect push-up things, but one of them has ten more resistance than the other because I guess dust or dirt or something got inside. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. Alright. So there's one thing I want to point out with these. These are these are gesture drawings. So um, does it, does anyone not know what a gesture drawing is? If so, I will find an image of an actual gesture drawing. Oh yeah, that was the other thing was I was gonna log in, or I was gonna I was gonna get models right, and then um, Pinterest had logged me out, like completely logged me out, and I was like, what the. find some pictures of gesture drawings because these none of these are gesture drawings these are pictures of people I want an actual gesture drawing okay fine we'll use Google there there we go So, you don't draw a gesture drawing, you draw people. No, I know, I'm, I'm showing you guys an example of gesture drawings. Because some people might not know. Alright, so this is what you're, this is what you're shooting for, for a gesture drawing. Something like, not, not this or this, because these are too fleshed out, even this is kind of fleshed out too much. Um, these, you're kind of looking for this sort of thing. We're, we're working on the dynamicist and dynamicy of the body and working on weight distribution and form and things like that. So you're breaking everything down to the, like its most basicness shape. We are doing caveman art. So, because I noticed with the, uh, with the um, studies we did last time, there were a couple of people who were... Um, they were drawing like the whole body or they were drawing extra stuff and you know obviously that's fine but i just want to make sure that you know there's no confusion this was new when v was little it was hello slip rock so that that's the goal we're going for so i have a model right right near so this is our first one we're gonna go with these are um these poses are a bit more dynamic because we're just going for like the motion of it, the weight, you know, things like that. You're not supposed to be drawing her clothes, her shoes, her hair, her face. You're just supposed to be doing the the most basic business this, this of stuff. 
Let me grab my brush, get on the proper layer. Now for this guys, to make it even scarier for you all. Sorry, my throat is super dry. Um, it is a two minute timer, which you all saw and experienced. So you gotta focus. When everyone is ready, we will start. We will start with our two minute timer. Why do I feel super uncomfortable right now? Ah! Oh, my everything's all sorts of mucked up. Hold on a second. Let's scoot a little bit closer. That feels better. All right, so I got I even have it on a fancy button now. So, ready to do one, go! <laughs> no warning. Only draw. I can move it too if you guys, if this is not seen enough for you. Okay. I drew a cow. Oh no. It's also like a warm up, so don't like get crazy with it. Also, with gesture drawing, uh, you should be trying your best to not erase, which I just did, which is why I remembered it. So, you're not really supposed to be erasing with gesture drawing. It's just literally supposed to be like loosey goosey um, drawing, really. Like you can put some form and meat on them if you're able to, but like that's not the main focus, if that makes sense. Be like, I can't. <laughs> My proportions are all bad. Shh, don't tell anybody. If you finish early, that's okay too. You don't have to. Just for drawings had to be like, um, I think when I was in school, they did it like a minute, but I wanted to take it easy on people. So, line of action, yes, line of action is the word. No, 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 I didn't draw any foot forward. There's no forward foot. LOL. <laughs> Why? <laughs> My dad was sick of the ceiling, man. All right, so, oops. Timer, eh, eh. Maybe I should leave the timer sound on so you guys can experience that. I don't know. You guys seem to like it. I'll just put you there. We'll draw another one. I'll probably go through a bit more um, poses this time, I think, especially since they're only two minutes. Eh, 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 eh. This is just so out of the norm for how you draw. Well, this is uh, practice. This isn't, you, just, you wouldn't like necessarily draw this way for like a piece. This is just practice. All right, I'm gonna start the timer again. Guys, same same pose, same model. Let's do it. Let's try adding more of a curve this time. The other part, and it's kind of hard with my streaming setup, is you want to kind of focus on using your, um, holding your wrist solid and straight, or and then and then moving like your shoulder and your arm for these, and less of like using your your wrist to draw these, which is hard because I'm kind of tucked up under a microphone right now. This one's better. She's too long. Draw smaller. I'm drawing off the canvas too. It's okay. <laughs> I 
really like this uh, picture a lot. It's got a lot of good shape in it. But yeah, she is very long. <laughs> Three, two, one! Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Alright. Throw her down here again. I can't use quick poses. Because uh, I can't show it to you at the same time. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do three poses again. guys are ready we'll start our third and final one for this one and then we'll take a little little break and while I go find another one and there we go all right three two one beep I want to get her I'm gonna focus on her legs for this one I think because the line of action is kind of going like this on her but I think that's messing up the whole leg issue because the weight's coming down on this one the front leg so I think that's because I'm getting hung up on the legs too. I think that's the issue with this one. I started drawing way too high again. I'm cheating. <laughs> And then you draw this leg. Because there's no weight on this. I mean, there's like the tiniest bit of weight on the toe. So. I'm trying to talk through these while I work on them so that you guys can kind of get an idea of my thought process while I'm drawing. It's hard though. <laughs> Just these proportions are way garbage. <laughs> There's my thought process. There, at least I kind of got that back leg, front leg situation down. Why aren't you drawing, Jaws? This foot's too short. I need to draw her head. I got five seconds to draw her head! Uh, mother in law's birthday, I see. Okay. <laughs> Kaka, motherfuckers. Alright, 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 alright. We got three. Let me zoom out, move her down. Also, for those who asked to uh, have me critique their stuff, I will, I will, I will do that. I'm sorry. I, I was like, I'll do it tomorrow, and then it's a week, a literal week has passed, and I have not done it. But I will, I will do that. Don't worry. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. All right, you guys, hold tight. I'm gonna find another model. I mean, ooh, this one would. Mm. This one might be fun, but this one might be hard. You guys want a hard one? Like, it might be hard. It's not guaranteed hard, but it might be hard. Are you guys okay with that? Sausage people? It's not hard. Oh, you guys will be fine, I believe in you. It's not hard. You guys will be fine. No, no, no. 
nah, 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 nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on to your jets here. There we go. There's our lucky lady number of dose. Bleaching feet hard. Just had to go there. This is another off balance one, so that should be interesting. <laughs> and she's on point. That'll be fine. I just said my thing is I have to draw. Muller. I think. Alright, while we're taking a break, I'm gonna see I'm gonna adjust one thing with chat here because it's driving me nuts. It's really not like a big deal, but it is bothering me. Where's chat? There's chat. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay, never mind. Chat's gonna stay the way they are. This picture hurts my toes and Achilles. Yeah, point is a uh, point is no joke, man. That's some scary feet stuff. I really still don't understand how they actually stand. Like, I understand that like this, you know that that you know, this is a block of wood situation. But I don't really understand how they stand on the block of wood on the shoe. Yeah. So chats actually. So you're seeing the top of the chat, not the bottom of the chat. There's a way I can fix it, but I'd have to end the stream, so it's just not worth it right now. I get foot cramps looking at that. Yeah, because basically what happens, if I remember correctly, is a lot of your weight actually goes on the tops of your toe toes, like on your toenails. Like your toes kind of curl over themselves. And it's on that block of wood. So that's why that's such a, a deep arch in their foot like that. And so it helps distribute the weight better. <laughs> it just hurts to think about. Alright, whenever you guys are ready, we can start the next round. This one's harder, so don't feel bad. We'll, we'll do an easier one after this. I just really like this picture, so I wanted to do it. <laughs> Sometimes your toenails fall out. Yep, that's very true. I've heard of that happening. Um, my plan is, my plan is, unfortunately, uh, YouTube doesn't make it super duper easy. Um, but to condense these into, like, the little, um, like, drawing times. So, like, for the last one, it'd be, like, the five-minute stints into one video with all the extra babbling cut out for people that just want to draw along. Um, so, I, I plan to do that with this one, too. I just, I, I've had a really rough week, actually, so... I'll get back to the grind after. But whenever we're ready, I'm going to start in three, two, one. Beep. There's a perspective going on on this one, too, so that's a little rough. Do not have confident line strokes. Maybe I need to work on that. Maybe that's why I should be trying to confident line strokes going on here instead of doing sketchy crap I just really like this this picture it's very cool it's very pretty Try not to burp directly into the microphone. When the first time you can add some meat. This is a, a little rough for me because I don't, um, this isn't how I like draw normally, like uh, some other people were saying. Uh, so, like, adding meat to this is a little rough for me, but it's okay. The point was to get the, the, the lines down and then you know go from there it's 
was like, when I draw like this, the, the muscles are always way too small. You guys want to hug everything close to the, the shtick, you know, the inside shtick. <laughs> Time is up. Move it to the side. Wow, I am really excited to see what you guys are posting in the Discord. <laughs> oh, hey, it makes me Hold on, I just wanted to see if I could... I don't suppose anything yet. Are you gonna post it? Are you gonna post in the Discord? Are you gonna let everyone else see it? Are you gonna show everyone your good luck? Oh wait, actually, don't. nobody post anything yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just reminded me. Don't force anything. Don't do it. Okay, now you can post. That's what I want to do. I want to put dates in front of everybody's stuff and they kept forgetting. I have to fix it. I'll have to fix the the other one. And now you guys. Thank you, Arcus. Thank you, thank you. Oh, those are really good, Arcus. Very good. Alright. Beaver, that last one's really good. Alright, so we are gonna start the timer in three, two, one. Oh, dang, I messed it up. <laughs> it's not about getting worse or getting better. It's about practice. Look at her, like, booty. And then... Man, does she have some muscles, though? That's intense. <laughs> Can't draw. I don't know how to draw. Maybe I should spend more time actually drawing the things instead of just trying to get the... <laughs> I don't know how to draw! You know what's going to be worse than this, you guys? It's going to be a lot worse. You don't think it will be, but trust me, it will. Uh, is a uh, facial facial gesture. Yep, it's going to be a hell of a lot worse. It's going to be so hard. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even trying to mess with you. <laughs> it's going to be hard. <laughs> Quality muscles, not quantity, exactly. I got like the weight, although her back's not arched properly. I feel like I got the weight distribution pretty okay. Her back's too long. <laughs> Joey, those are good. It's good. Everyone's everyone's practicing. That's what counts. Oh, yeah. See, I feel like this. See, I got worse here. I feel like this one was a lot better. No, I thought I thought I was doing better with this one. But now that I look at it, this one's a lot better. But that's why you practice. <coughs> oh, I wish my throat wasn't so dry. All right. Alright, 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 it's going good, it's 
doing good. Give people a little bit of time to post their stuff. I'm drinking water, trying to stay liquid. I found out my nose might be cold all the time because I'm dehydrated. All right. All right, you guys ready? Ready for the next one? Still feels like a Silent Hill monster. <laughs> Three, two, one, beep. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this one better. Trying to get like the length of everything correct is difficult. Well, I get headaches too, but I think I don't know because I get my my uh I get cold really easily, really quickly. So I don't know. Elbows like hyper extended. Where are the Fubert sketches? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this hand! What are those? <laughs> That's a shoe. That's a something. That's a something something. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Timer up. Timer up. All right. That is three for her. I'll find something slightly easier for you guys. We'll take a little, little, little bit of a break. We'll let our brains do thinking. Yeah, see, I think that one was better. I still think that this one's the best though. My first one. Um, I'm gonna go get some more water, so I will be right back, and then I'll go hunt down another another pose for us. So give me one second. You guys! <laughs> it's good! It's practice! It's not supposed to look perfect! You guys are all doing great! <laughs> the 7 through Metal Gear Rave Metal Gear Solid 2. Alright, I will find a new pose. I'm not muted right now, okay. 
Come on. Come on, mouse. Let me find something. Ooh, that one's a good one. Ooh, that one's a good one, too. Those are harder, though. Um... Let's do this one. Oh, I like him. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, kids. Don't worry about it. Maybe do a profile view. Okay, well, that's good because that's actually one I just found. Okay. Yeah, that one was more difficile. So we'll do it. Her head is turned, but we're not really worried about facial structures, so... Is this one okay? If these are too hard, just let me know, okay? I don't wanna- I don't want to, uh, frustrate anybody. If the level needs to change, please tell me. This is for you guys, too. Right. Oh! Budge. Give me one more thing. One more second. One more second. Fine for me. Okay, Fu we got a vote. We got an okay vote from Fubi. Okay, 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 okay. Good, 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 good. All right, so I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one. Beep. Mm. There's a bend in the spine, but it's not quite that crazy. PC in the six sixes. <laughs> Thank you, Recyc. Hello. Oh no. You can't see her other arm, but it's there. I'm sure it's there somewhere. And she got the booty. Them thighs and the booty. <sighs> I have such a hard time adding meat to these sorts of forms. The fourth here. Yes, it does. Today it does. So, like, if you let her shoe touches her butt. How do you add butt? I don't know why I'm always starting with the butt, but I'm always starting with the butt. That's a that's the meatiest part on people, really. The butt. The butt. Stand up! You zoom her out. Get her with the lineup. And uh, we will then. Only parts of the body I can't draw. Are you telling me we need to do a butt drawing session? We need to do a butt class? Oh yeah. Mine's not leaning back super far. Uh, a class de la butt? Is that what you're telling me? Not a lizard. 
Yes, B, we need a butt class. Butt class for Valentine's Day stream. Wow. Wow. Don't you think that's a little, like, off the cuff there? Wow. All right, we're gonna start again. Three, two, one. Yeah, my knees lean back farther. Cause her like head lines up with the back of her butt, which lines up with the back of her, like the bottom of her feet. I think I made her too big again. <laughs> she looks like an alien, oh my god. Kind of scary. Her head should come back more, I think. Next to a long. All right. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> it had to. I gotta, I gotta figure ahead for it. I think is uh is what I need to do. Recite got permission. Where was the timer? It was here. It was right by me. It was there. Open your eyes, ergonomic man. Yeah, it disappears when it's done. Go bye bye. So it's not distracting. It's also not just a display capture of a YouTube video like I had last time, which was rough. Well, you can put that. Um, you can put that in the art show. Just don't put that in the draw alongs if that's okay. If if, if you could do that for me, because it is. I do like the mini paintings, just not in that channel. If you could. Thank you, sir! But yeah, please post that in our show. People like to look at the minis, I like to look at the minis. Alright, I'm fuck, I didn't look at the stream the whole time, then it LMAO. <laughs> Wait, you had to look at the stream to look at the model! Who were you drawing? Okie dokie, Smokies, we got one more for this lovely lady, and then we'll move on to the next one. So, Beaver, are you ready? Three, two, one, timer. The first drawing is reference. I can't kind of cheat because I got the I got <laughs> I got the picture right next to my drawing.
Killing me, this sucks. <laughs> Can't believe Arcus is just calling me out for cheating. Alright, this is better. I think I need to make your legs longer. In general, I think this is good. I kind of wish her other arm wasn't um, hiding. So they do be hiding. The most annoying sound known to mankind for the oops for the stopwatch. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Okay, now I have to find another. One. Okay, we're on little breaky, little breaky poo. I go find another pose for us. For us. Let's go. Little poses. That's uh <laughs> that's not what we want. There we go, there we go. <laughs> I was like, that's that's not what we want. Can we find like a like a simpler pose? Let's see here. Let's do this one. This one should be easy. Uh now here, we'll do this one. This one's neat. I found another one I liked, but um, she's wearing like, a big, like, floofy skirt. So, and, like, you can you can tell where her legs are, but at the same time, I don't wanna I don't wanna make people guess. Yeah, hands. Hi, Erin. Eric, wow, I'm so sorry. Hi, Eric. <laughs> we're uh, we're doing some drawing practice, so if you uh, if you're an artist or want to become an artist, feel free to grab a, a pencil and paper. If not, feel free to hang out. Both are good. Yeah, we're just doing a cozy art practice stream. This one's easier. This one's easier than the other one I was gonna grab. I usually draw a circle for the head before the timer, but that's just so I have a starting point. <laughs> Arcus. No, I said you gotta stay and be cozy too. I said that. Those words came out of my mouth. All right, whenever anybody's ready, I will start the timer. Three, two, wait. Okay. Three, two, one. The only really thing I do is painting Warhammer models. Well, dang, we were just talking about Warhammer models. Seagulls over there posted a, a big, uh, I don't know what it is. It was a white guy. It was white. A white model-y dude. Yeah, feel free to hang out. No problem at all. Get those curvy point shoes in. Move this a little bit. There we go. 
I feel like uh, I'm gonna be a little easier, a little less awkward as I go. Is what I'm feeling. I'm basically just trying to stick people, to be honest. No, I made her too big again. Fingus. Another for the 40k basement. Oh, we're gonna get... Guys, we're gonna get outnumbered by the 40k people. No! Yeah, look at that. Look at that giant Rick and Morty style head we got going on here. Very nice. Our, oh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I forgot. I feel like 40k and uh, Battletech are very, very different in like almost every single way. Okay, we move our dancer lady over here. Oh, oh good. There we go. Alright. Alright, ready? Are you guys ready? We're gonna do uh the second one. Three, two, one, go. Alright, I'm gonna try to draw her smaller. Like your natural something or your like natural like thing is you wanna you know draw the line from her neck to her spine down to that this back leg, like, but then it kinda throws you off with the with the you know, the other leg. But which leg is in front? Now that's a noggin. That is a noggin if I've ever seen one. And she's really got that like, I don't know, I feel like a booty would make the... Would make the back look more arched. I, you know what, I think my issue is I just... <laughs> I always start with the booty. I don't know why. Should probably start with the rib cage. that would make more sense. It would make a lot more sense to start with like the rib cage and not the <laughs> the gluteus maximus. Even then, like it's really hard for me to draw from these stick people. Booty is a nice friendly shape. It's true. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Timer up. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? We got one, two, three, four. We're on number four. Alright, so we're on number three, drawing for number four model. How are you guys feeling? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling good? How are you feeling? Is anyone feeling worn out? Overworked? Underpaid? 
She just keeps getting longer. While I'm in the basement, I'm gonna say some very mean things to my teammates in Dota. Okay, have fun! Feeling dead, miss. Let's keep up. Oh, <laughs> you guys. Oh, no. Farting noise. I feel that. Okay, we will uh, start drawing number three of this last. In three, two, one. Oops, sorry, Michael. Legit fell asleep at work. Oh, that was me. Um, what was that yesterday? Yes, yeah. I only got two hours of sleep. Um, the night Tuesday night. I don't know why I just couldn't sleep, and like the night before I couldn't sleep very well either. So like I was already hurting. Like I was already on low sleep, and then I couldn't sleep again. So I think I got like five or six hours of sleep the night before, and then I only got like two hours of sleep. The next day, which was cute. So I was dying yesterday. I'm glad I didn't have to stream. That would have been. I don't know. I don't think I would have been able to. To be honest, if they keep yawning. Oh my god. Five or six is how much I usually get. I used to be able to function on five or six, but I just can't anymore. I need like seven or eight. I wish I could function on seven. Or on five or six. Like I can, I'll, I'll function, but I won't function well. It'll be a bad time for everybody involved. You're now old. You made your torso too long. Oh yeah, mirror toes are way too long compared to her legs. There. Don't shorten torso, just lengthen legs. That's how you do. Ah! Timer up! There you go. Alright, I'll slap this. This mammal and my ding dong over by the other mammal and my ding dongs. All right, there she is. There she is. All right, let me get another slap. Okay. She cannot be stopped. Horse extensions are my favorite way of getting taller. Alright, so let's say we did like one more. Would you guys want something more challenging or would you guys want something easier? Oh wow, that one's rough. That one would be challenging. That one would be easy. Alright, so you guys, let me know. Do you want something... Uh, more difficult or something easier? I can, I can, uh, I can, I have two very opposite examples. Oh, that one's weird. Oh, it's good too. We can't see the other arm. I feel like it's important to have that other arm. Do one. A one. A one. Alrighty, Booby said A1, so guess which one you guys get. <laughs> Double subject. Just remember, this is Fooby's fault. There he is, guys! There he is. <laughs> Can we do it? Can we end the night s 
<laughs> Can we end the night strong with the hardest gesture drawing we've done all night? <laughs> but why? I can do something easier, it's okay. Invisible skateboard, whoa. I think it's break dancing. Is my guess. Hold on, let me find the easier one. Ooh. I think it's up here. Oh yeah, here it is. He's certainly doing a pose. Here, we'll do this one instead. I just wanted to scare you guys. So unfortunately, I can't actually bump the timer up because it's still, you know, despite the fact that it's not a screen capture of a YouTube video, it's still kind of janky and not an actual timer I can set. But next time, but next time. My, oh, it's my ears on top of my headset. So I think what we'll do is we'll do three of this last and then um, if you guys want, we can chat a little bit. Otherwise we can just call it a night. Yes, it's a timer that only does two minutes. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yes, whenever you guys are ready. Elite hacks or cannot change time from two minutes. It's true. I have a thing that I can set up a timer and I just keep forgetting to set it up. So I keep finding these like goofy fixes last second because I'm a mess. Have a good night, Slipbrock. Thank you for coming. So. Three, two, one. <laughs> Don't make fun of my cable. I don't know what happened. I don't even know what that cable was for. I have no idea. I wasn't even plugged in anything. Cause I was like, oh my God, I could have fried it just by plugging in something that wasn't supposed to be plugged into it. And then I was like, wait a minute, it's not even plugged in my computer. You know, that's very dangerous. <laughs> Did Robo design this? My plug situation? I'm gonna blame Robo for the clock. How's that? The timer that I can't change. I feel like I should really exaggerate the line of motion going on here. I feel like I'm making them not super exaggerated. Crap, I have to go potty. Wow, his head's not great. His arm needs to be longer, but that means his leg needs to be longer for this to work, and that means this leg needs to be longer for this to work. I guess this is the whole point of gesture drawing, I'm assuming. I'm guessing. Okay, it's the point of gesture drawing. Time to go. Um, I'm gonna take a tiny potty break. I'll be right back. <laughs> ah!
Don't mind me just kind of passing out in the corner there. <laughs> Don't mind me at all. Where did my Where did my drawing stick go? There it is. That's right. I know I'm supposed to be teaching, I'm just tired. It's okay. Yeah, the quick confidence strokes I'm gonna struggle bussing with just because uh, I'm kind of squashed in here with the mic and everything. You guys have to be confident. All right, let's zoom out. We'll get we'll get more room. I think this is a good good batch good batch of. Drawings, drawings. I always feel like like uh like I'm tired now. Not in like a well, I keep yawning, but like you know, like brain fatigue. Stick drawing is a good start. It's true. See, Joey's getting it down. Joey, Joey's got this. Joey's got this feels. Speak softly and draw a big stick. All right, timer is coming back, guys. Three. I'm learning when you need to figure out forms. Yes. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, I feel like uh, my brain is being fatigued, which is good. It's nice to use your brain. No, oh, Joe, you're doing a really good job, actually. I'm starting with this foot. I'm trying to keep the length there. And then get this foot out. This doesn't look right though, and I don't know why. Wow, this pose is actually harder for me than the than the other poses. <gasps> I'm in pain. Ah, timer up. All right, Uno Mas. Oh, no room there. Time to go up with you. Time to go up with you. All right. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One more. One more, and then if you guys want, we can chat a little bit. I can go over um, some people's drawings if they would like, if they're okay with that. And um, I can bring them on stream and talk about them. That would be fun. But we can all let our brains kind of chill a bit. I think would be good. And then, yeah, so whenever you guys are ready, the timer will start in three, two, one. I oh, know my pen wasn't ready. Like this truly curse. What if I start with like this leg? This is our actual front leg. 
angle's not right. <laughs> My hand's sticking to the tablet. thought of body type being an element of the art style? What do you mean? Just like what the model looks like? Or what the, the actual character looks like? I'm gonna draw, yeah, I drew it like way too up again. <laughs> I just waste all my time. Clock is in is the music, same part of the timer. That ah, timer done. Put your pencils down. They're all down. All right, guys, we got a lot to look at here. Dang it, I did it again. Her over there. There you go. That's good. Actually, you know, let me. Biscuits. What are we doing? Oh. There you go. I swear to God, I'm getting worse with each. That's okay. It's probably because, um, like I said, you're probably getting brain fatigued. Because this sort of thing is actually like a lot of, a lot of work. Because I noticed that uh, last time we did this, um, I don't want to say a lot of people's were getting worse. I know mine were getting worse as time was going on, but I know a couple of people said that they thought theirs was getting getting worse as time went on, and that's just because it's uh, it's it actually uses a lot of brain power to do this stuff. So don't don't feel bad. That's why there's studies, you know, it's actual studying. That, are, that wasn't their first one. That was their first one. Let's move everybody over. I need some space. There you go. Make some space for everybody in the pool. And uh, yeah. There you go, that's better. That, that's really good. That's a really good study session, I I think. Me thinks. I kind of wanted to fuck around with Nilla, TBH. Really fine. What's Nilla? I find there's a, a bell curve with art. Like, it takes a little bit to get warmed up into the mojo, and then after a while, yeah, it gets. Yeah. Um, like, it's one thing when you're working on, like, a piece. Where you're like legitimately like painting it, I think you can go a lot longer with that because you're kind of just lost in the the process of it and you're just doing stuff. It's very, it's a very, at least for me, it's very head empty, no thoughts kind of process. Um, but doing stuff like this in poses and and actually like doing anatomy and stuff is, is work. It takes it takes brain juice, it takes brain meat <laughs> to do them. That's why like the actual painting part is my favorite part though I can go full head empty get better but you feel like you suck yeah it's uh it's interesting 
And then it's also like, um, oh, what's that? The coding, the coding with drinking curve. It's like that with art too. You get like really good with art and then all of a sudden it just goes downhill. So once I'm in a costume phase, I get a second win when I get all the ideas start playing it. Oh, Vanilla Ice, the other model. Oh, <laughs> the crazy dance one. Maybe we'll do him next time we do gestures. We gotta figure out what to do um, next week for drawing, so. Um, I don't know if we wanna do more gestures, if we wanna get more specific, or maybe work on some hands. Are you guys feeling some hands? Hands, perhaps? Or, or those two, or do we wanna stay, we wanna stay macro and not quite get micro yet. Although I think it'd be good to do hands early and then we can get good, good tracking on hands. Come to think of it, B, do you ever find yourself disliking your own artwork after a while? I dislike my own artwork immediately after it's completed. <laughs> it's very rare for me to like a piece more than like three seconds. I think practicing some forms would be best assisting macro. That's why I'll never get a tattoo of my own artwork. It's just not, it's just never gonna happen. Which is why I probably will never get a tattoo because for some reason I feel like it's weird to get a tattoo of someone else's art when I myself can art. But I will hate my art as soon as I finish it, so. <laughs> I'll just never have a tattoo. <laughs> Which is fine, it saves me money. <laughs> but yeah. I think most artists dislike their work as soon as they're done with it. Um, at least, at least in some aspect, because, um, artists tend to look at things with more of a fine tooth comb than like a normal viewer would. They tend to find up all the, the issues that you forgot or you, you know, you missed or you did wrong, you could have fixed. Yeah. So I think, like, I always feel bad because everyone's like, you should save your art and stuff. I have no problem deleting all the old artwork. No problem at all. Like, I try to save it for, for a couple years, but then I'm like, mm, I really don't need this. I, I don't even like it. Like, I don't know why I'm keeping this. I have some of my older, I try to keep like a couple pieces, but most of it, it gets trashed eventually. It's not even just like, like, oh, it's cringy because some of it is absolutely cringy, but it's just not. Very much, I try to look ahead. I also don't even, like, like I have art on an old Deviant Eckhart, Deviant Eckhart, Deviant Art account somewhere. I have no idea where it is anymore, though, and I have no idea what the login is, and I have no idea, but it's there. It's out there. It hurts me. It hurts me knowing it's out there. <laughs> that stuff could go bye bye. Just went on thumb drive and burned it. And actually, I just released. Bleh, I can't talk. I just recently deleted a bunch of stuff off my uh, my drive, my Google Drive, which was kind of cathartic because I was watching the little meter go down. Please do not. It's not hidden, it's just gone. Hold on, I'm gonna see, I'm not gonna show it to you guys, but I'm gonna see if I can find it. <laughs> you guys get to listen to me find it. Why are we so zoomed in? Why? Oh shit. Oh, oh, there's two different ones. Oh, I have two accounts, apparently. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, we won't talk about that. I found it. I'm not sharing anything because I don't want you guys to find it, but. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, a th it's there. It's a thing.
head to there. No, I'm not sending the link. There's uh, there's stuff on there I don't want you guys to see, so I won't be sharing it. <laughs> I can't even delete it. <laughs> but uh, no, you guys won't find it, so. Yeah. Yeah, it it's uh it's there's not even a lot of uh This piece wasn't bad. Oh no, it was bad. Use Photoshop CS3. Rough. Rough Photoshop CS3. Yeah, Fub's got stuff on DA2. I think everybody does. Anyone with like a slight art inclination somewhere. Has a DA, a really cringy DA. I wish DeviantArt would just delete inactive accounts after a while. That would be really nice for them to do that for us. CS3 is the last good one here. Yeah, that was before they went to um, Creative Cloud, I believe, if I remember correctly. But, yeah, I know, I don't... Why did they swap it? I think... What do we have now? Is CS6 now? Yeah, Creative Cloud ruined Photoshop. What's it? Anywhere online tells us we'll pass the cringe phase? I mean, technically, I feel like we're all in the cringe phase, really. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm a I'm an anime waifu, you know? Did the cringe really leave or did the cringe change? Did the cringe evolve? That's really the question. You can seize ownership of your work. I think that's why everyone left it. And Debian art. The idea you can do redraft something old. I could, but then I'd have to show the old thing. Wouldn't I? There's not a lot of actual art on here. What is that? What is this? What am I looking at here? Oh, 2008 to 2011 artworks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. That's art. That sure is something. That sure is something. It it exists. It's there. Oh, yeah. They they reversed that though. Not everything's opted in by default. The cringe never leaves us. Nope. I logged into my old DA account a couple months ago and I wanted to explode. Yeah, there's some <laughs> It's pretty bad. There's a lot of blood on my. <laughs> I think I had a thing with blood. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Gamma's like, it's DV King Art. You know what Gamma's thinking about. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I would share, but there's, um, there's stuff, there's personal stuff on there. So I don't want you guys to, in, unless I could get in and delete that, I, I don't want you guys to be able to find it. <laughs> I'll actually change it. It says a lot. I really thought people would be on board with it being on by default. I mean, Art Stations is on by default, isn't it? Is it still? Art Stations was on by default for the longest time too. It's just these big corporate people, you know? And then there was, um, Clip Studio was going to have their own stable diffusion generator, like, built into the, the program. And then people freaked out, you know. Like, I don't want to say the companies are tone deaf. I just don't think that they, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if they just, their timing's really awful or if they are a little tone deaf. Things like that. Because the issue with Clip Studio was they were using Stable Diffusion, which is like pulled a bunch of art without permission. So. <laughs> and then they're selling it to people, even though it's technically not their product to sell. I'll say companies are totally tone deaf. 
Yeah, I think if one person was like, huh, they just tore into Deviant Art for doing the same thing we're about to do. Huh. I'm so torn on the, the AI art. I, I keep meaning, I kept wanting to do a, a video about it, like a, like a long format YouTube video, but I just, I don't know. Every time I try to figure out like, cause I have like a very general idea of how it works, but then my opinion of it is constantly changing. So like one second I'm like, this is neat. And then next second I'm like, this is horrible. Oh my God. And the next thing I'm like, well, it's not so bad. I'm like, no, this is the worst thing to ever appear in the existence of forever. Hi, Tito, Tito Ness. I'm sorry if I, I struggle with names, so please don't be offended if I say your name wrong. But hello, welcome. I'm glad you were able to make it too. It's learning from what it looked at exactly like what we're doing right now. See, it's, it is, but it isn't. Like, like, um, it's not. Like, that's not how it works. That's a really, uh, good way to explain it to somebody who doesn't know how AI works, but that's not how it works at all in any way. So that's where it becomes kind of difficult. Bleach, bleach struggles. No way says my name right. Tidonus. Oh, okay. Tidonus. Okay. Gotcha. Um... Yeah, so I keep I keep tossing back and forth and doing a video about it. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll just do a video explaining about how it works from, like... And then I was like, I don't know if people care or if they just want people's opinions on it. Some of the things... is a toy or a tool for references. Another one, someone claims I've made art. Well, so, like, I personally don't like the fact that... Um, these companies are feeding art into it that they don't have permission to use and then are selling the that with the data set to people because you're technically selling other people's art you're technically not but like they're technically selling that data set which technically has people's art in it so like like yes the art has been converted into ones and zeros, but if you hadn't taken that art, those ones and zeros wouldn't have been there anyway. So it's still taking it and reselling it. So, like, I don't like that. Um, but yeah, I, I do think it's a great tool for references and uh, inspiration and trying to get compositions set up. Um, but yeah, and then the people that do like prompting and then try to sell prompting as like a commission, I'm not a fan of either. So it's, it's, I don't know. I think it would be great if um, there was like an ethics situation more involved with it and then people could actually use it without feeling like they're going to be attacked for using it. Because that's the thing is they like people kind of turned into like the pitchfork and, and torch mob. 30% I think. Yeah, it's well, right, but you're still it's it's not the it's not the fact that like, you know, you're you're putting in stuff and it's spitting out something that looks like a one for one copy of something else. It's the fact that you like took that piece to train it without permission. You know. But it's like it's not like art. It shouldn't really replace commissions. I I see it absolutely replacing um simple commissions. I think, I think, like, if I look at it as someone who has money and I'm a consumer and I'm not thinking about it as an artist, right? I can either spend $10 and get my entire D&D party, you know, created for them and, you know, and have custom tokens for them and then move on with my life. Or I can commission you know, artists for, for 50 to $150 per commission and end up spending $1,000. You know, like no one in their right mind is going to choose the $1,000 versus the $10. And it's just, you know, that's just what it is. 
Aaron is weird. Like, it's pretty, but it definitely seems soulless somehow. I think for your cute anime waifu generic things, I think I think it's exactly on par with human artists. I mean, minus hands, but like, I think it's just spitting out, you know, like Dan Baru. Like, it's just spitting out generic waifu stuff, you know, because that's for the most part what's been fed into it is generic waifu stuff. No poor person in the right mind. I mean, most people, most people don't have a thousand dollars to throw around. Most people. So not just, not just poor people, most people. Also, there are now people who created a job on basically feeding keywords and phrases into AI and then copyright those key sets of words. Is that an actual thing? Because that doesn't really make sense for that to be an actual thing. My wife has got great art though. Yeah, yeah they, I mean, it's cute. I agree. It's nice to look at, but it's super generic. You know, it's extreme. You know, it's all cute waifu. Cute waifu, big titty. There you go. Boom, boom. Most people don't have a thousand dollars to throw around for static images of D&D party. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I can't I can't fault someone for for choosing the more financially sound option. Um, that being said, I don't think like freelance artists are completely screwed or anything like that. But I think the people charging way under charging their art or if they're not at a skill level where they should be taking commissions, I think they're going to struggle a lot more than they were already struggling. It sounds like the old saying that every book after the dictionary is a remix. I mean, kind of. <laughs> Who would rather throw that kind of money around our tabletop war gamers? <laughs> it's it's a weird... It's very gray in my head. Because I think there's um fantastic uses for it. I just... I don't know. I think it would be neat if... um, Because that's the thing, right? Because they're like, well, companies should just have their own data set where artists are willing to, you know, supply the, the data set, you know, with permission and stuff. And I'm like, well, companies aren't going to commission artists to just draw pieces to feed into their AI. Like the data sets you need are massive. That's why Dan Brew works so well. So, you know, to, to make quality artwork, you need to start with quality artwork. So it's like... You know, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense from a company standpoint to do that either. To to be like the ethical, you know, to do it the ethical way. So then you can have artists donate, but artists are so up their butts with some stuff that I don't know if that would ever even be considered. You know, <laughs> I don't know. There really is no. I don't see a win-win here, to be honest. You know, I I think I think the landscape of digital art has changed. I don't think it's ever going back um, to the way it was. I think artists, you know, human artists are going to have to adapt. Because that's the thing, is like the artist isn't going to go away. Um, there's a lot of stuff AI can't do or can't do well. Uh, and, and there's always going to need to be humans to check, you know, if a company does for whatever reason decide to use AI for like their character designs, for example, you know, let's say a video game company is like, well, we need, we need like six characters and we want them to look generally like this. We're going to, we're going to, you know, throw it into the AI and, um, you know, it spits out six images that they like, well, they, you can't. You can't ask that AI to redraw that same art, you know, in 12 different poses that you need. You can't ask that AI to do a, a detailed reference sheet based on that image and have it be the exact same thing. Because AI art is different every single time you prompt it. So, you know, that's still going to need artists. That's still going to, there's still going to need to be artists that that look over the AI art to make sure one and it's not like overly copyrighted material to the hands look normal, the lighting's okay, things like that. A big magnet. You leave the AI alone. 
Yeah, and like, you know, they can't physically paint either. They can't do animations very well. Um, what else? You know, just, you know, live 2D stuff. Things like that. I know there's, I know there's like AI live 2D models, but it's not quite the same. It, it can't reproduce its own art is the issue and humans can. And I think until, I don't know, you know, I don't know the limitations of AI. I don't know why it can't reproduce its own art. Um, I don't know the like scientificness behind that, but I think that's where the, the, the AI is going to struggle against humans. Humanity vanishes. You have to set up a second algorithm that's specifically for drawing generated images. <laughs> Poor Fubi's getting bullied. Bullied by chat. Yeah, so yeah, I guess that's kind of my thoughts on AI stuff. I'm very torn about it. I did have I did have my like standard artist breakdown over it, so that did happen. I cried. <laughs> I did because I was like, oh, this is so cool. This is so neat. Blah, 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 blah. And I was screwing around with the Novel AI and I was like, wow, these these pictures are so cool. It's so pretty. I can do all this stuff so fast. Holy cow, look at this character design. This looks so neat. And I was like, holy shit, I will never keep up with this. And then the depression set in and that was a big sad hour. <laughs> so I did have I did have my um required artist breakdown over the, the AI. I just didn't make it, I didn't make a big long twit longer about it. So it did happen though. <laughs> Do you really want Robo as an overlord? Do you really want that? Animations will definitely change over time though. 3D graphics and cell shading will take care of that eventually I'm sure. I don't, I wish we'd go back to 2D sometimes. I understand why, but it just looks so much better. You want to know what the thing AI can't do? What? It can sing now. VTubers are screwed. AI yeah, cannot find joy in what it creates. Be an artist will be that every single time. That's true. I think that's why, um, I think streaming art is kind of going to be more and more important, or at least recording it. Uh, not necessarily to prove that you drew it yourself, which, you know, there's, there's something in that. But I think just the fact that, like, it, you know, that that really adds the human element to it. You know, like today, you know, we didn't, I didn't just draw all these and throw them up on, on Twitter and be like, I drew today. No, we like hung out and we talked and we did it together and we suffered together and we, you know, there's a there's a human aspect to it. So I think I think that's going to be the big difference between, you know, a, a AI prompter. And, uh, and just the AI art in general and like a human artist. Yeah, Fubi likes to destroy things. We'll never keep up with automation, but we can adapt around it. Robots replace assembly line workers, but there's still people working in industries that use them. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I don't know. I'm always, I, uh, I've never been. Maybe not never, but as I've, as the last couple of years, I've, I've become more of a roll with the punches person with these sorts of things. And I have been a screech and flail kind of person. <laughs> like, I knew it was coming eventually. I didn't think it would happen so soon. And so, um, belliger belligerently, but like, I, I'm not going to single-handedly take down AI art. And I don't think anybody is. Cause it's here. I, it's here to stay. It's not gonna go away. Exactly, exactly, Fubi. Art is a journey, and not something you post on Twitter for likes. Yes, I think Fubi and I were talking about that a couple days ago. <laughs> I'm gonna make a scheduled joke again. Do you have like a scheduled joke time, Otter? Just buy magnets. I don't even know where the AI artist it lives. I do think there's value in posting art. Um, because a lot of art I don't know, like I draw art for myself, but I also want other people to see it. Because 
Um, one of the big things with my art that I've been trying to improve over the years and years and years is I really want to try to tell stories with an art piece and I feel like if I do all that work to put a story into something for it to not be experienced by a bunch of people is kind of sad. Like, so, like, I do have a lot of art that's just mine that I haven't posted, but I just, I don't know. I like, I like the idea of creating experiences for people, I think. So some Bob Ross trapped in a steel cage? That makes so much sense, actually. I like to stick around and watch the stream. I have to work in my... Have a good sleep! Thank you for stopping in! Thank you for coming, Ty. Make sure I'm practicing. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I think some artists get too lost in the sauce when it comes to posting stuff. And, you know, and I, I've been guilty of that. I just, you know, I don't know. I've been, I was, um, I think it was Drifter earlier asked if there's pieces that, like, I don't like after a while. And the, the Cali one I drew recently, um, with the eating the, eating the hater, the anti- the anti thing. Um, there's parts of that that I don't like and that I, um, you know, I forgot some things on it and I didn't like this and I could have done this better and blah, 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 blah. But like, I really, really like how um, there, there feels like there's a story there and maybe it's not the most obvious story, but it's there. And that makes me really excited to paint again, you know, and, and to make a new, to make a new drawing. So, yeah, I don't know. So I guess I guess I'm, maybe I'm growing up a little bit and I don't just hate my art the second I see it. You know, I just, I realize there's pieces I don't like, but there are pieces that I do like. Bob Ross is trapped in the server. Bob Ross is an anime waifu now trapped in the server. That one Sarah Scribbles comic really syncs with a lot of us, yeah. It's weird. I don't know. Like I, I like posting artwork and then getting, you know, all the likes and stuff. But you know, it's nice. But it's also very fleeting. You know, especially with the way social media is, it just kind of disappears. It falls off the radar after you know four hours, and then it moves on. So I don't know. I think it'd be very stressful to um, make stuff just for the sake of having likes I think that would be you know and then trying to put up you know it just it'd be very quick to burn out yeah fleeting very fleeting and this stuff takes a lot of work it takes a lot of work to do art and make videos and song ooh, excuse me songs and things like that I wonder if all the Bob Ross paintings that make the flip book were in order of being made or if they just ended up that way. They do a lot of trees. Well, that's the other thing I think artists are afraid of and stuff. Like Bob Ross did like landscapes with rivers, mountains, and, and pine trees. You know, and sometimes you throw in a little house and stuff and like change it up a little bit. But that was really what Bob Ross did. He didn't draw cows or guns. He just stuck with what he knew and what felt good. Artists are really afraid to do that, I think. Because they're trying to keep up with the trends, which, like, does not allow for that sort of thing. Like, you cannot specialize in one thing. And, and keep up with trends. Unless you're, like, that dude that just draws Mordred. I don't remember... I don't remember their name. But there's someone on Facebook, they just draw Mordred. Every day. Cows with guns, yes. Bob Ross would hike a lot based a lot of his landscapes based on what he saw so it might literally be a flip oh yeah that's true that's a good point Tony yeah battle cattle <laughs> yeah I don't know that's my little art rant that's my little art rant for today I guess at the end of our, our doodling so it was a good session yeah, Tony, that's what it was. I was gonna say Mark. I was like, it's some like name that was like a generic man's name. 
Yeah. Beaver with a cleaver. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I think we had a good, good drawing session, good chit chat. We're getting cow tools now. It's cow guns. <laughs> um, don't forget, guys. We are uh, we're playing Valheim tomorrow. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Picked up picked up Valheim again recently. It's, it's been fun. So I played. I play. I found a random server. I've been playing on it a little bit. So I still got to build up a base, but um, so we'll probably be doing more base building tomorrow and then maybe running around and exploring a little bit depending on how long everything everything takes but i'd like to pick up valheim and play it a little bit more regularly on the on the stream so that was a good rant i like how you said that the art piece you had made a story yay tony was pronounced like oni yeah tony oni oh like it's maybe a girl i see I don't know. <laughs> but I will talk to you guys tomorrow for Valheim. Um, yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for drawing with me. And I will get to the people that wanted critiques. I will get to you. Uh, I want to say tomorrow because it won't be tonight anymore. But I'm worried that it won't <laughs> I will get to you. I will get to you soon. Please. I did not forget. I promise. <laughs> But have a good night. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Yay.